Hey guys, what is up and welcome to the adventure of Fable, The Lost Chapters. Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, but one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Hey guys, what is up, on, and welcome up. to Fable the Lost Chapters. As if like you, you haven't figured that out now by the title of the video, that is. Find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrow Fields gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. And one little problem is right now is that the game is really loud and it's overpowering my voice. You guys can't tell that. But I will turn up my voice, probably. Most likely, yes, I will. If I can. But I will be turning the game sounds down. Yes, let's get moving. These beautiful graphics of the old. Alright, let's see. Let's go on in here quick. Alright, options. Audio options. Sound volume. Apply. Now, I haven't played this game in a while, but I pretty much know a lot about it. Um, that, oops, didn't mean to do that. Now let's talk to this little girl here. I've, I've lost Rosie! Rosie. Oh no, changing. Oh no. I will help you, little girl. A blue patch on her back. Oh, that, that's really gonna help. I will go look for a bear now. Now, before you guys head off and run in that direction, there is a little something you can do over here before you even go over there. There is a guy right here. And he is a cheating husband. I've never even met this woman. Who is she? Yeah, who is she, huh? Looks so cool. Keep your mouth shut about oh, this. Keep my mouth shut. All right, all right. What you can give me? My wife's home with our little ones, and I'm supposed oh. to be. Oh, you have a wife, and you're cheating on her? I see. I see. Now, since I'm a good Samaritan and all, I will definitely turn this dumbass in. No. <laughs> um, I am playing the light side on this run. So, I know some people prefer the dark side of this game, but I really don't just because the hair looks horrible when you become that. He's over there kissing some chick. Oh, you're right, correct. Oh, you're cool. That's cute. Nothing? That really sucks. I will let you know, because I've already found him. Yes, I'll tell you about Right, thank you, young sir, for telling me. Now, I may not go through all of this stuff because dialogue takes up a long part of this game, so I'll probably just skip through. So, and here's another quest over here you can do. Now, this is just, just remember, this is the starting zone, so there are, I think, you only need to do three quests, or three good deeds or three bad deeds, to make three gold to get a thing for your sister. A present for your sister, but I think you can get up to four or five completely done. Now, pretty much in this area, what's gonna happen is you have to guard these barrels, and this little kid is gonna tell you, Oh, break the barrels, break the barrels. But if you break the barrels, you do get gold, but if you don't break the barrels, it's a good deed. And what I just usually do that is sit over here and ch kick chickens and whatnot. I'll try to run away from the kid because he talks way too much. So I'll literally just run the circle or something like this. Uh, I'll kick chickens, obviously. Like, chickens are fun to kick, you know. Um, this is a very old game, actually. I'm pretty sure it came out in like 2002 or something like that. Fable 2 and Fable 3 have already come out. But the thing is, I, have, I haven't really enjoyed Fable 2 or Fable 3. Fable 2 is okay. Fable 3 kind of just became one of those games where it's like, 
This ain't fun. That's just what Fable 3 was to me. Like, as soon as you beat the game, you were ultimately rich. You could get as much crap as you wanted just because you ran a freaking kingdom. Oh, no problem, big guy. I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. Why, thank you. I performed a good deed. Um, I was gonna do this face cam, I was thinking about it, but my cam teacher doesn't work with this game because it's a full screen game. And, uh, <clears throat> now what you can do actually is you can come right up here, and there'll be a kid. Oh my god, my throat. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, pretty much what you do is you're gonna talk to this kid. This kid's gonna want you to beat the other kid up. And in return, he does end up giving you Rosie. Oh, this guy's such a chump, dude. Look at that. Four hits. Leave him alone, leave him alone, whatever. Thanks, buddy. That's a green patch, though. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the right one. Now, up here is a trail that goes up to your sister. But, literally, what I'll do is to your right is your sister. Over here, you just take the bridge over. You end up back at your house. Uh, but first, you'll want to return the bear to the little girl, which she's going to be down here somewhere. Um, I don't even know. Um, like I was saying, um, I wasn't going to do this face cam. I was thinking about it. Then I realized it's not really a face cam kind of game. I mean, there's not too much to watch me on face cam do. So, um, oh god, excuse me. <clears throat> um, I'm actually sick right now. But I wanted to record to, uh, cause I just want to get some episodes out there, you know? I'm kinda bored recording about half an hour of Fable today. At least 15 minute videos of each, probably. Um, I'll probably just go to, for, to like 10 o'clock or something. But, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna go up to your dad, which is up here. His name is Brum. Very weird name. Um, and I have not, I don't know if there's an original Fable or not, but I've never played it, and I've never found it or anything. I never searched or anything. I never bothered with it. This is the first Fable game I've ever played in my life, and I played this thing for like a year and a half just messing around on it. It was ridiculous. Like, I played this game like someone would play Oblivion or something. Like, you just keep playing and playing and playing, you never stop. But the thing is, the main thing is, I, I have not played this on a computer since... since 05. <clears throat> I've been playing this on Xbox since I've gotten my Xbox 360. I've been playing it on that forever. Like, that profile is 100% complete because I looked up guides and everything. Now, this hopefully will be a 100% run through, but I'm afraid that I'm not probably going to do Demon Doors till the end of the game because, truthfully, I do not know how to do all the Demon Doors at all. Not at all. So, I'll probably keep the puzzles and stuff to last. I'll probably just do the main quest lines and all the quests for, you know, Hello, the main brother. starting. Now this cutscene I won't cut up, I won't cut out because this is a pretty epic cutscene here. I'm sorry if I, woke you up last night. I, I really hate this cutscene though too. Jesus, I am so sorry that I sound so sick. My throat is kind of closed up. My nose is a little runny. Um, I just got home from my girlfriend's house from eating dinner there. Had some nice chocolate. lasagna. A lot like of tomatoes though, so I pulled them all out. Come on, let's go ahead. I hate tomatoes. Uh, back for my party mushrooms. Now. Anything else, I'm pretty much fine. Now this part... Actually, I wonder if you can search this now, can you? Oh, okay. Now what, this is the funniest part I've ever seen in, the, in a game before. Wait, this is the stupidest thing ever. <clears throat> Bandits are new! <clears throat> I just think this part is hilarious. I don't know why, but it's just fucking hilarious. Sorry, excuse my language. Most of my foul language is in my multiplayer commentary with my friend Dylan. Um, I'll put a link to his channel in the description. Check him out. He's pretty cool. Makes some nice redstone, I think. Now look at this. This is the thing. How does that guy, who's looking straight over here pretty much, not see me behind this fence? Look at that. How does someone not see you hiding behind that fence? That is ridiculous. I do not believe how that happened. Now I'll be quiet during cutscene. Haha. -ha. Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy. And soon, 
Their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away, his whole life was crushed to ashes. He I spy with my little eye Jack of Blades. Ha <laughs> ha! Future reference, it's a little bit of a spoiler. But, I'm pretty sure most people that have, have played Fable know what who he is anyways. Um, so, now, as you run up on here, obviously this is the only place you can possibly go. Now, actually, coincidentally, in Fable 2, I, th I believe it is, you can come to right up to the, to the bridge right there, and you can look out into the Oak Vale, and you can see the building over there, and I, th I thought that was just beautiful reference to the first game. You could just see that building right up there. I just thought that was wonderful. I thought they'd bring Oakfield back in the other games, actually. I don't know why they'd cut it out like that. I didn't, I didn't like the new Oakvale. It was kind of... eh. Well, hello, father. Um, so I am going to cut off the video here, actually. Um, um, this is the beginning of the game, yeah. And next episode, I will be starting the... The guild, the guild adventures. Uh, I'll probably do all the guild together, and then I'll move on to questing. We must leave. Ooh, who it's are you? Balls for Chen. You, you don't want to join, to join them, do you? Then, give me your hand. hand. Perv. We want to grab my hand for. Don't do it. No, I don't want to do it. Back off, run. I can live by myself. I can live with wolves. No. Oh God, damn it. Why did I do that? Ah, uh, come on. Um, I am sorry for the kind of bad quality, but I can't really help the. Qu oh God, no. Oh, oh, I can't really help the quality, like I was said, pretty much, because it's such an old game of low quality that you're not going to be able to get good graphics out of this game. There's a lot of squares that are supposed to be sides. I'm sure there's mods I can put into the game to round it off and stuff to make the graphics a lot better, but I don't want to bother with modding, so... So yeah. Where are we anyways? Are we by the picnic chair? Oh yeah, look at that. No a better place to call your home. I love those lanterns that hang there. I don't know why, but I wish they would have put like a way to make them actually look like they were hanging, like a rope hanging around it, instead of just sticking into the wood. I mean, look at the lanterns, they're hanging on something, why are those ropes just sticking out of the tree? Alright guys, so, next episode, The Guild. I'll cut off the video right after this cutscene. I have a new student for you. New student, eh? Put him in the dorm upstairs with the girl. Ooh, a girl. Do not have things at night, baby. <coughs> oh, oh yeah. Spent <coughs> 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 I'm sorry. A little too much. Was much guys? Though. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper. Ooh, Whisper, nice name too. Can I check out her whispering eye? She's playing right now. Wink. But you'll meet her in the morning. Giggity. Alright. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will be going for all A's on the whole game. So, that'll be entertaining to see how me do. Oh, I'm crying like a little bitch. What the fuck? Oh, wow. There's a lot of cutscenes in the beginning of the game. So, sorry for that, guys. Um, most of the first episode will be cutscenes. So, it'll be 15 minutes or so. I can't upload over 15, but I just choose that 15 is a good spot. I mean, people, I'm pretty sure people don't want to sit here and watch something for half an hour. You know? 
But I feel like it just gets too long. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Damn, man, she's not even cute. I don't want to see her whispering Some at all. Even last that long. Plug it with a cork. You and I <sighs> hope you don't get moving. Hope she sleeps the way over there. That's good. For us in the map room. All you right, look at that. Late on your first day. Follow me. Wow, cutscenes galore, my friends. I am so sorry. This first episode is pretty much a fucking movie. Looks like the guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Oh Let's no, go. across the river and through the woods to Guildmaster's house we go. Alright guys, so now that I finally have control, next episode we will be doing the guild all in one episode. And then after that, um, well since it's around Christmas, I probably won't be doing much between the guild and then after that for a few days. Just because it's you know Christmas slash New Year's break and I'll be at a friend's party. Um, so... I'll see you guys next episode where we do the guild. See you later, guys. And feel free to leave a comment, a like, maybe a little bit of subscribing. It'd be awesome. Alright, guys. See you later.